here's that dry air on the map. You can see the front stalled across southern Georgia. On the other side of this, we have a lot of moisture, a lot of shower and storm activity. But on the northern side of this, we've been trying to watch that drier air sneaking into our region. It's not bringing crisp and cool feeling outside, but it's lowered the humidity outside just enough to take the shower and storm chances pretty low. But meanwhile, on the other side of the front, where storms are going to continue bubbling up the next couple of days, we can actually see some of those storms developing into a tropical system. So the National Hurricane Center now highlighting this with a 30% chance of development over the next two days and a 60% chance over the next seven days in North Georgia. So the potential for tropical development increases as we head throughout the holiday weekend. So if we do end up seeing a system develop, it would probably be a tropical or subtropical depression. If it were to reach storm status, it would become Chantal. That is the next name on the list. But more than likely, if this does develop, it would be a tropical depression. I'll show you a big picture on the forecast track here. You can see as we go through the next couple of days, we'll pause things tomorrow afternoon. You see this low level center of circulation trying to develop. So if that can wrap itself up, if we can have a clear low level center, if we can have a warm core and the winds up to 39 miles per hour, we've reached tropical storm strength. But if the winds are only 34 miles per hour or greater, uh, then we'll have a tropical depression if it can again develop that kind of low level circulation. But this is one of those areas that's pretty common this time of year for us to see tropical development. If we see these fronts that sag to the south, sometimes just getting over the waters of the Atlantic or the Gulf can help something spin up there. So that is Friday afternoon. Watch out tries to spin itself up a little more formidably as we get into Saturday as it's moving up the coast from Georgia into the Carolinas. Meanwhile, on the Georgia coastline, we're looking at kind of this onshore to northeasterly wind. This will help to increase, especially that onshore wind, the rip current risks means rough surf as well as that's trying to form and a couple of showers. Now we're not going to be on the dirty side of the storm with all the showers and storms. We would be on the western side where there would not be as much action happening in terms of rainfall, but something that we'll just be paying close attention to over the weekend.